um, as you guys are looking at these, hopefully you guys avoided doing all this mathematical notation. One thing I want you guys to understand is anything multiplied by itself, 2x plus 1 squared, is really 2x plus 1. Now, if you were to apply FOIL, the first two terms that you would multiply would be 2x times 2x, right? Which would give you 2x squared. Now, as you do the rest of this problem, are, is anything going to give you a higher degree than 2, than that 2x squared? It's definitely 4x squared, isn't it? Yes, it is. But is anything going to give you a higher degree than 2? No. Which? Which 2? Well, because after I get to multiply. I know, but I'm just saying in this. Oh, in that. No. So guess what? Rather than actually doing all the multiplication, I don't really care. I'm just going to write dot, dot, dot. Now, if I were to multiply these two out, what would be my largest, what would be my leading term? 9x squared. And do we really care what the rest of it is? No, because what do we only care about? We only care about the leading term. We don't care about all of that. So that's 9x squared. Now, if I were to multiply these two, my leading term would now be 36x to the x to the multiply exponents. You need to add the powers. Thank you. It's in your. We usually do our focus lesson first, and that would have helped you guys remember, but so that's our leading term. We have no idea what the rest of the what the rest of the equation is. Well, that's another term. We still have five minutes. That's okay. We I still want to go over some questions on this. Um, so it's 36x to the fourth. That means it looks just like a parabola opening up. So therefore, it's rise left, rise right. So I'll write limit as x approaches negative infinity. It goes to infinity. And the limit as x approaches positive infinity goes to infinity. Okay.